the first one I want to show is uh, running total, right? Uh, so I'm just going to insert a column here and I'm just going to add a few rows here. Okay. All right, so adding a running total in, in Excel, normally what you would do is, and I'm just going to use a range outside here. So normally it would be something like, the regular references is this P7 for P7. And then you would take the first reference and lock it with F4 to put the dollar signs in front of it, leave the second reference on the uh, other end of the, the colon operator uh, relative, right? And then when you copy this down, you see the first reference has stayed still, and the, the second reference is, is relative. So that's all good and well, but if you use this in a table, it does not turn out very well. Okay, so I'll enter that in the table, and as you can see, the formula, look in the formula bar, and it, you know, it looks good so far, right? So far, so good. But when I add a new row, The last formula looks the same, but if I go up one cell, you can see it's still going down through P12 instead of this one should be through P11. And that's just the way tables handles um, the absolute referencing with standard cell referencing in the calculator column. So basically the, the, the tip here is how to use a, a proper running total and not get caught in this debacle of uh, ranges not updating properly. So there's there's two ways here. So the first, I'm going to, uh, for the first reference, instead of saying P7, I'm going to index this column with the index formula, and I'm just going to say index 1, hard code the number 1, put a semicolon, or put a colon, click that cell, which will say, you know, uh, square bracket, at sign, column header, end square bracket, Enter, and since there's different formulas, I got to confirm for the whole column. And then I get, basically this says, since I'm in, using the index formula, I'm always saying, give me the first first cell of that entire column. So that will never move. And then it will be at whatever row we're in, so the at sign being this row. So that's a true calculated column. Now, the downside about this is that on large data sets, and I'm talking anything over you know, 100,000, 150,000 rows, this could get bogged down and get slow. So you can do this with standard cell referencing. You just don't want to do absolute. The key is to not use structured referencing and not use absolute referencing. So I'm going to say, uh, what is this, 06 and P7. So I'm going to sum the cell to the right and sum the cell above. And since table headers cannot contain numbers, they can only contain text. Even if it's the number one in there, it's still text. Um, we can leave this inside the sum function and we'll still evaluate. Otherwise, if we said, uh, you know, if we said something like uh, 06 plus P7, that would fail because 06 is going to give you a, uh, an error because it's text, right? So we leave it inside the sum function, which means it will evaluate, and there's using uh, standard cell referencing for a running total. So that's tip number one. Ah, so you got a rating. All right. So, okay, so i, I got to give that five because people need, need to know how to use these pivot tab these uh, tables and know the pitfalls and how to deal with them. Man, so this, the one the one percent gotta survive too, man. No, 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 no. <laughs> we get lonely. You hear the echo in the room? With it's just the four of us. Come on. You know, if one of us die, we're gonna have to start eating each other. So yeah, that, we gotta have some more people in here. We gotta bring them in. You're not gonna occupy us. You're gonna come in here. All right. right. 